the derivative of f of x equals the quantity of 2x minus 1 over 2x squared plus 1 all to the ninth power, it's going to require the chain rule. This is a quantity to a power. The general power rule, which is a special case of the chain rule, states that the derivative of any u to the n power, in this case our u is a quotient, 2x minus 1 over 2x squared plus 1, to the power of n, in this problem, 9 equals n, is equal to, well, you bring the power to the front, decrease the power by 1, and then multiply by the derivative of u. So when we do this derivative, the derivative of u, since u is the quotient, will require the quotient rule. Let's begin. The first step is to bring the power to the front. So the 9 comes to the front of the quotient. We'll decrease the power by 1 down to 8. And then most of the work in this problem comes from the u prime, taking the derivative of 2x minus 1 over 2x squared plus 1. This requires the quotient rule. The quotient rule states that the derivative of a quotient is the denominator, 2x squared plus 1 in this case, times the derivative of the numerator. The derivative of the numerator, 2x minus 1, is 2, minus the numerator, unchanged, 2x minus 1, times the derivative of the denominator. And the derivative of the denominator, 2x squared plus 1, is 4x, all over the original denominator squared, the original denominator squared. So I have my derivative. However, it's not in simplest form. I'm going to have to do some algebra to simplify this. And that's going to involve distributing the 2 through the quantity of 2x squared plus 1, and then distributing not only the negative in front of the quantity of 2x minus 1, but also distributing the 4x. This will result in this next line. The only thing that has changed on the next line is what I have in the box here. The result of distributing the 2 is 4x squared plus 2. The result of distributing the negative and 4x, negative 4x times 2x is negative x squared, and negative 4x times negative 1 is plus 4x. There's some like terms that can be combined here. 4x squared minus 8x squared is negative 4x squared. And then I wrote the rest of the terms in the final factors numerator in decreasing degree. I put the plus 4x second, and I put the plus 2 last. Additionally, on this line, I broke apart the second factor, which was the fraction to the power of 8. I broke that power of 8 and applied it to the numerator. I broke it apart and applied it to the numerator and denominator second separately. That will make it a little easier here on the, the last steps to multiply across the numerators and across the denominators. Across the numerators, I have 9 times 2x minus 1 to the 8th power times the entire quantity, negative 4x squared plus 4x plus 2. In the denominators, I have 1 times the quantity of 2x plus 1 to the 8th times that same quantity, 2x, 2x squared, plus 1 to the 2nd. When you multiply the same base, in this case that same base is 2x squared plus 1, you add the exponents. So that's why I have 2x squared plus 1 to the power of 10. The final thing, I'll, take, I'll do one more step to simplify this. The final thing I'll do is notice that in the third factor in the numerator, there's a common factor of 2. And because oftentimes the highest power in a quantity, the highest, the, the term that has the highest degree is written with a positive in front of it. I'm going to factor a negative 2 out to the front of negative 4x squared plus 4x plus 2. And when I factor a negative 2 out to the front, I'm left with 9 times negative 2, which is negative 18. I put the minus sign in front of the fraction bar, times 2x minus 1 to the 8th power, times the result of taking a negative 2 out of each term in the last factor, leaving me with 2x squared minus 2x minus 1, all over 2x squared plus 1 to the 10th power. The derivative of f of x is equal to negative 18 times the quantity of 2x minus 1 to the 8th times the quantity of 2x squared minus 2x minus 1 all over the quantity of 2x squared plus 1 to the 10th power.